What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. So, Andrew Wilson, the CEO of EA, actually said some interesting stuff about the next Battlefield game in the new earnings call, which is some sort of a conference for EA that takes place four times in a year and divides it the whole year into four quarters. And what happens is people from EA sit down with their investors and they talk about the opportunities and uh, what they've accomplished in this quarter and what's ahead of their company in terms of, like, opportunities for investors uh, like ips and all those kind of stuff that goes on in a game publishing company like ea so that's basically a summary of what this earning calls are however let's take a look at what andrew wilson has to say about battlefield which includes some information about battlefield in general and then the next battlefield game is also the topic of discussion here so everything that we read here is like what andrew wilson said in that conference as season 7 of battlefield 2042 wraps up one thing is clear each season of the game has shown our team's unique ability to listen learn and draw inspiration from the community to deepen connection with the franchise so about listening learning and drawing inspiration from the community i really have to say something here dice actually listened to a lot of the things the community really wanted and they really didn't listen to a lot of things as well as an example most of you guys want the g3 from the vault weapons to be in the all-out warfare we want the m98b sniper rifle we wanted more content we wanted more maps and those kind of stuff are the stuff that dice never listened to more importantly battlefield 2042 really lacks content to this day and i have some friends that actually don't like to play this game because mainly because of two reasons well first reason is that the gameplay pace is like really fast for them as a battlefield game and the next reason is that the game really lacks content and they get bored really quickly so that shows me as an individual and as a content creator that 2042 really lacks content and it doesn't really have to do with your friends leaving the 2042 and leaving battlefield behind it's about you seeing how repetitive it gets when you play like six seven matches of conquest you surely will play in repetitive maps and that's gonna happen every single time and that really gets frustrating to be honest so yeah there are things that dice listened but there are things that they didn't either however about learning i believe dice really learned a lot of stuff because 2042 was like the ground zero it was as low as battlefield could ever get you know starting from having no scoreboard and having a completely ridiculous game lagging bugs everywhere i don't know hovercrafts flying in the sky people becoming spider-man and these skyscrapers from those kind of stuff we are now settled in a battlefield game that is not perfect but it is in a very polished state comparing it to itself like two years ago so now they do know what it's like to mess a game up that bad like becoming the ground zero for how uh, messed up I would say a battlefield game can get i believe there are so many mistakes that will not be repeated for the next battlefield game and i'm pretty sure there are so many small issues with 2042 that we will not be seeing in the next battlefield because they actually know what they need to deliver this time or at least partially they partially know what it's like to deliver a polished game and i hope they have the resources for that as well players continue to be passionate about the battlefield franchise which has surpassed over 25 million players over the last 12 months so combined on PC and consoles apparently Battlefield has had like 25 million players over the last 12 months I'm guessing that this is the players that logged into the game it doesn't matter how consistent that playing was it's just 25 million players from all over the world logged into Battlefield games I do believe it starts with Battlefield 3 which is still being supported on PC and then Battlefield 4 Battlefield 1, Battlefield 5, and 2042. I don't know how accurate that is. Like, 25 million is just a lot for Battlefield, but, I mean, we gotta trust these numbers, right? We can't, we don't really have any option. The community is energized by what our teams are doing and excited for what comes next. This is not just one of our top priorities. It is also one of the most ambitious projects in our history. So, the next Battlefield game is actually one of their most ambitious projects in their history. What's very interesting about what they claim is that these are the exact words when they were planning to release Battlefield 2042. And that is really why the community is not going to trust EA or DICE anymore. And that's why there are people everywhere who say that you really should not pre-order the next Battlefield game, no matter how good that trailer is gonna be, no matter how good their gameplay is gonna look like, no matter how good the graphics look like, 
you should not pre-order that game and i really gotta say i'm kind of on their team because you really don't have to pre-order anything like wait a few days after the release take a look at what people have to say about it and then decide for yourself if you want to consider buying the game or not that's something that you really have to be like conscious about we have brought together the very best team coupled with the resources and technology they need to deliver an epic battlefield experience and i am excited about what is to come next as we continue to make progress across our strategic priorities. So apparently the next Battlefield game is now EA's strategic priority and also they're one of the most ambitious projects in their history. Well, that's good news, but as I said, we've heard these words from Andrew Wilson back in the days of Battlefield 2042 when that game was about to release and what we got was an incomplete, laggy, completely ridiculous Battlefield and it was nowhere near something that people can rely on as a Battlefield game. And some people, actually some people to this day, believe that 2042 is not really a Battlefield game. I can't agree to that completely, but I know where those guys come from. And then moving on, Andrew Wilson actually starts to talk about some free-to-play games. And as we look at the titles here, there's a Battlefield title here as well. So he says, quote, As we think about American football, as we think about the Apex, as we think about Battlefield and as we think about The Sims, our belief is that if we are building out for a global player base of over 3 billion players and we're looking to build communities in and around our biggest IP of many hundreds of millions of players, our ability to utilize free-to-play as a mechanism to reach more people on console, PC, and mobile and then offer different monetization opportunities. So speaking about free-to-play titles and having Battlefield's name here, Everybody instantly knows that they are talking about the Battle Royale section of the next Battlefield game. That we know for a fact that it is going to happen. The next Battlefield game is going to have a Battle Royale which is apparently free to play. We are going to have a single player and the multiplayer as well. So we don't know anything about the Battle Royale. We don't even know which one of the studios is working on it. But apparently the single player is now being built by Criterion Games. Based on what they're claiming here, the next Battlefield is going to have a completely free Battle Royale section. We didn't know that before. We did know that it is going to have a battle royale, but we didn't know whether it's free or it just really comes with the game and you have to pay for the full game. So apparently it's going to be free and that's really like a double-edged sword. If you mess things up, people will never even consider buying the game. People will not have hope buying the game to play Conquest. But if they manage to deliver a solid battle royale experience, it might really absorb players from all over the consoles and PC as well to actually come and try out the uh, multiplayer section. That, that is exactly something that happens with Call of Duty. People are playing Warzone for free and it has a lot of fans. And because of that, people actually try to buy the game and play like Search and Destroy and all those kind of stuff. So if DICE and the other studios that are working on the next Battlefield game actually can pull off something, some solid Battle Royale, it's going to help a lot. But if only they mess something up and like they give us something like the firestorm from battlefield 5 and then we're not going to be happy because not only the battle royale is going to be messed up but it will really impact on the marketing for the multiplayer section which in my opinion is the most important part of a battlefield game and that's not something you can actually let go of. But we really need more information about the next game. I guess it's slowly time for DICE to consider giving us some hints. I don't know, some locations, some of those weird easter egg stuff that they do because the community is really dying right now i'm a content creator i'm pretty sure other content creators are dealing with this issue right now it's really getting hard to make content for battlefield and i'm really looking forward to delta force to have the alpha and we play that game and make some videos about that because that game is really a worthy opponent i would say for battlefield i guess delta force is going to keep us entertained for a while battlefield 2042 is not really like giving us anything more to create content about and it's really getting hard if you want to just stick to 2042 alone and create content so i believe it's time to slowly start progressing on the news around the next battlefield game apparently they have a playable version right now andrew wilson and some of the people in ea actually sat down and played the next battlefield game we do know for a fact that there is a playable version. And if there is a playable version, there has been so much progress and they can share some of that with the community. Like listening to the community and learning from their mistakes really early on. And before it's too late, before they run out of time and in the polishing phase, they can actually start like building up on those experiences and use those feedbacks. And to make a Battlefield game 
that is really loved by at least the majority of the community. So with all that said, it's time to end today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope it was helpful. Go down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the news. Uh, let me know how positive are you about the next Battlefield game or are you in complete despair? Do you really trust DICE and the other studios to be able to pull off a perfect Battlefield game? Because that is something that the community and the franchise really need. Let me know what you think about all this. And thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, stay cool.